Hi, I'm Sam from Transcription City and today I'm going to show you how to load an audio or video file into Expressscribe for Mac. Okay, so I'm just opening up Expressscribe. It's already in the um, bottom here, so I just double click on that, opens it up, and you can see the software here. Basically, you've got um, the different files here, and then you've got play, stop, fast forward, and rewind. Now you've got two ways of um, loading a file on. You can either click load and then go to the location of wherever the sound file has been saved. So in this case it's the it's in the desktop and it's a video file. So just double click on it there and wait for it to load. Now it usually loads here, you can see when it's finished, and there you can see we've got how to use Express Live. Then all you would do is to play it. You would use your foot pedal, you can either use your foot pedal, um, the hot keys, or otherwise you can obviously manually click on it, start and stop using your um, mouse. Okay, so that's how to um, uh, load one on with the uh, load button. But also what you can do is, is um, obviously it's on the desktop already, so if I wanted to um, do it a quicker way, and it's already available on the desktop, all you'd have to do is just drag and drop it into the display here and you've got exactly the same thing. Um, obviously then again you can press play or stop as you like. Um, there you go, so that's how to load a video or audio file onto Expressscribe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.